Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to my channel. Greetings, explorers of knowledge. Join us as we embark on a quest to understand Columbus Chill. The Columbus Chill were a professional ice hockey team that played in the East Coast Hockey League from October 1991 through the season. They played at the Ohio Expo Center Coliseum in Columbus, Ohio. The Chill left Columbus in 1999 and relocated to Reading, Pennsylvania, with the impending arrival of the Columbus Blue Jackets in the National Hockey League. The Columbus Chill are now known as the Reading Royals. In this section, we'll be deep diving into the Chill, unraveling its complexities and uncovering valuable insights. The Columbus Chill started as an expansion team in the East Coast Hockey League now ECHL in 1991. The Chill followed a previous minor league hockey franchise in the International Hockey League IHL that had transferred ownership twice and operated under three different names in Ohio's capital city, the Columbus Checkers, Columbus Golden Seals, and Columbus Owls. Chicago businessman and sports entrepreneur Horn Chen purchased the rights to an expansion franchise in the early 1991 with the intent of placing it in Cleveland. However, new team president and general manager David Pateson convinced him that Columbus was the right market. Pateson hired former National Hockey League player Terry Ruskowski as head coach. The team started with the goal of introducing new audiences to the sport of ice hockey and building a strong fan base. The Chill quickly built an impressive and loyal fan following and garnered the attention of the media in the United States and Canada. The team's aggressive marketing campaign received unprecedented coverage for a minor league hockey team through the Wall Street Journal which described the chill as hockey for the hip, Sports Illustrated, The Hockey News and ABC World News Sunday. Columbus Monthly said, going to a chill game is like walking into the world's largest dorm party, and named it the city's best sporting event in 1992 and 1993. The American Marketing Association would recognize the Chill as best marketing project in 1994 and the Canadian Broadcasting Company proclaimed the Chill is the most successful minor league franchise in history. Although initially not successful on the ice, the Chill was a huge marketing success through their outlandish promotions. Beginning in January 1992, the Chill sold out 83 straight games more than tripling the previous minor league hockey mark. It was a standard that would last for nearly a decade. The Chill would sell out more than 80% of their games during their eight-year history in the 5,600-seat Ohio State Fairgrounds Expo Coliseum, which opened in 1918 and was the oldest building to house a professional team. While the Chill regularly filled the building, it would take Ruskowski three seasons to reach the playoffs, doing so in 1994. The Chill would go on to win division championships in 1997 and 1999 and make the playoffs five of eight seasons. All four Chill coaches, Ruskowski, Mo Mantha Jr., Brian McCutcheon and Don Granotto would advance through the ranks with two McCutcheon, Buffalo Sabres and Granotto, Street Lewis Blues becoming NHL assistant coaches. McCutcheon would be named the 1997 ECHL Coach of the Year. Hateson was named 1997 ECHL Executive of the Year. A near-disastrous scheduling snafu by Fairgrounds officials in late 1992 that, unbeknownst to the chill, would have eliminated many of the home games in the second half of the season nearly cost the city its franchise. The problem was quickly resolved after enormous public pressure. The United Show of Force helped trigger formation of a downtown arena study and talk of NHL expansion. The Chill was deeply involved in the process from the onset with Pateson appointed as the sole hockey sports representative to the 10-person sports facilities work group that included members from the city, Chamber of Commerce, County and Convention Authority. The Chill actively promoted the city's efforts to build a downtown arena and in 1994 publicly committed to be the major tenant. In June 1996, Pateson was part of a delegation that went to New York to inform National Hockey League Commissioner Gary Bettman that Columbus was interested in an NHL franchise. 
In February 1997, the Franklin County Commissioners approved putting a 0.5% three-year sales tax on the May ballot to help finance the construction of a $277 million complex that included a 21,000-seat arena and a 30,000-seat soccer stadium for the Columbus Crew of Major League Soccer. Issue 1 was defeated at the ballot on May 6, 1997, just days before the NHL was to announce its decision on expansion. Three days later, the NHL granted Columbus and other expansion city hopefuls more time to resolve their arena problems. On June 2, 1997, the arena portion of the project was rescued as Nationwide Realty, Inc. announced it would build the arena privately. John H. McConnell, founder of Worthington Industries, stepped forward to become the principal owner of the NHL expansion franchise, later to be named the Columbus Blue Jackets. The NHL Board of Governors on June 25, 1997, approved Columbus, Atlanta, Minneapolis Street, Paul, and Nashville as expansion cities. With the impending arrival of the Blue Jackets' first game in October 2000, the ECHL season would be the Chills' final one as the team was voluntarily suspended. As part of an agreement with McConnell, Chen would receive a small ownership stake in the Blue Jackets. The spotlight now falls on suspension and relocation as we delve deeper into its details. After the season, the Chill suspended operations for both the and the ECHL seasons after the arrival of the Columbus Blue Jackets. The Columbus Chill were sold and relocated to Reading, Pennsylvania, during their two-year enacted status to become the Reading Royals for the ECHL season. In the following segment, we'll be examining highlights in greater detail. 1991 Chicago businessman Horn Chen purchases an expansion franchise. 1992 Chill begins minor league hockey record 83 game sellout streak 191 sellouts in franchise history set ECHL regular season records at the time for highest goals against average 5.33 341 goals in 64 games still fifth in ECHL history most power play goals against 111 second in ECHL history most penalty minutes 2,751, fourth in ECHL history, and highest penalty minutes per game average 43, 2,751 minutes in 64 games, third in ECHL history, named best sporting event in Columbus by Columbus Monthly, named as the best new addition to Columbus and for the athlete you'd most want to drink a beer with Columbus alive, inspires a board game a night at the chill, created by team's first season ticket holder Steve Miller. 1993 Marketing Project of the Year for Creativity and Impact Central Ohio, Chapter, American Marketing Association, named Best Sporting Event in Columbus and Best Promotion by Columbus Monthly. 1994 team makes playoffs for first time. Ruskowski becomes the first ECHL coach to get hired as a head coach at the next level Isles Houston Arrows. Mo Mantha Jr. replaces Ruskowski as head coach. 1996 Mantha becomes head coach of the Baltimore Bandits later Cincinnati Mighty Ducks of the American Hockey League. Brian McCutcheon replaces Mantha as head coach. 1997 first place in North Division and third overall in ECHL, record for most 20 or more goal scorers in one season 9 in 70 games played, Dave Heimovitz, 39, Derek Galfier, 33, Joe Coombs, 28, Derek Wood, 27, Keith Morris, 26, Derek Clancy, 26, Lorne Toys, 25, Matt Oates, 22, Mark Turner, 20, Brian McCutcheon named East Coast Hockey League's Coach of the Year. David Pateson awarded ECHL Executive of the Year. 1997 McCutcheon becomes head coach of the Alls Rochester Americans. Don Granotto replaces McCutcheon as head coach. 1999 first place in Northwest Division, second in Northern Conference, seventh overall in ECHL. Last call on April for draws 191st and final sellout. 
all-time chill team named goaltender Jeff Selichko, defenseman Lance Brady and Barry Dreger, forwards Derek Clancy, Jason Smurf Christie and Rob Schreiner, enforcer Phil Crow. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding Chill alumni and the National Hockey League and gain a fresh perspective. Five former Chill players were eventually promoted to the Nablaya at China and had the longest tenure in the NHL of any of the former Chill alumni. A former Hartford Whalers third round draft pick 52nd overall in 1989. Atkinham had a brief four-game stint with the Ottawa Senators during the 1992-93 NHL season where he split time between Ottawa and New Haven. At China was assigned to the Chill for the 1993-94 season and scored 27 points in only 16 games. He would return to the NHL with the Street Louis Blues during the 1997-98 season, where he scored a career-high 11 goals and 26 points. Atkinham would also have stops in Nashville and Chicago during his NHL career. In 196 career NHL games, Atkinham had 27 goals and 33 goals during the regular season. He scored an additional goal and three assists in 23 career playoff games. Phil Crow joined the Chill during their inaugural 1991 season. He later joined the Los Angeles Kings during their 1993-94 season and also played for the Philadelphia Flyers 1995-96, Ottawa Senators 1996-99 and Nashville Predators 1999-2000. Crow played 94 games in the NHL, scoring 5 goals and 4 assists. Sasha Lakovic started his professional career with the Chill in 1992. He joined the Calgary Flames during the 1996-97 season. He played 19 games with the Flames during his NHL rookie season and played an additional 18 games with the New Jersey Devils between 1997 and 1999. Eric Manlow played 36 games for the Chill during the 1996-97 season. He played his first NHL game with the Boston Bruins during the 2001 season and played a total of 37 NHL games from 2001 until 2004. Heat Vandermeer played 50 games for the Chill between 1996 and 1998. He was recalled to the then Phoenix Coates on February 8, 2008 and received a second recall on April 4. Vandermeer played two career games in the NHL. In addition, three former NHL players spent portions of their career with the Chilcom Brown was an undrafted forward who was briefly recalled by the Vancouver Canucks during the 1990-91 NHL season. He played one game for the Canucks and fought former Blackhawks enforcer Mike Peluso. Brown would spend parts of two seasons with the Chill from 1991-93, scoring 48 points in 46 games. Brown would go on to have a lengthy CHL career, playing 789 regular season games in the ECHL from 1996 to 2006. Brown's 789 career ECHL games is the fourth most in ECHL history and his 24-25 career PIM was an ECHL record from 2003 until it was broken by then Jacksonville Lisman forward Garrett Hunt in 2018. Brown would later be inducted into the ECHL Hall of Fame in 2010. Trent Kays is a former Buffalo Sabres 8th round draft pick 161st overall, 1985 who played one game with the Sabres during the 1988-89 NHL season. He would have stopped in Winston-Salem ECHL, Phoenix IHL and Peterborough BHL before joining the Chill during the 1991-92 season. Case scored 28 goals and 50 points in only 28 games in his lone season with the Chill. After the completion of the season, Case returned to Britain to resume his BHL career for several more seasons before retiring in 1995. Andrew Russicott is a goaltender who spent five seasons with the Montreal Canadiens 1989-1994 and was the backup goalie for the Stanley Cup winning 1993 team. 
Racicot was released by the Canadians after the 1993-94 season and began a journeyman's career across the minor leagues shortly after. Racicot only played one game with the Chill during the 1995-96 ECHL season, stopping 37 out of 39 shots. Let's now shift our focus to success and community impact and explore the ways in which it shapes our perspective. The Chill would send five players to the NHL and promote others to the American Hockey League and International Hockey League. Numerous Chill front office employees advanced their careers to NHL, NFL, NBA, MLB, NCAA, NASCAR, Indy Racing League, etc., including several front office employees of the Blue Jackets. In addition to the chill being the catalyst for the NHL coming to Columbus, the franchise provided much-needed services to the skating community. The chill has the distinction of becoming the first minor league team to build, own, and operate its own facility Chiller Dublin, 1993 and opened their second door ice rink Chiller Eastern, 1997. They joined the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim as one of only two franchises at any level to own and operate two facilities. Considered to be among the finest ice rink facilities in the United States, the Chillers provided the platform for an explosion of hockey from learn to skate classes to adult leagues, nine high school hockey programs and youth hockey participation grew from 150 to over 1,300 kids during the years while the Chill was in existence. The Columbus Chill Youth Hockey Association Chill continues to thrive. A partnership formed in 1997 between the Chill and Blue Jackets had resulted in the Chillers and the NHL club owning and managing eight sheets of ice in Central Ohio. Chiller North was added in 2003 and the Chiller Ice Works in 2005 as well as serving as an integral marketing extension of the Blue Jackets brand. As we transition, let's shed light on season-by-season season record and its relevance to our ongoing exploration. Note, GP equal games played, W equal wins, L equal losses, T equal ties, OTL equal overtime losses, S equal points, GF equal goals for, GA equal goals against, PIM equal penalties in minutes records as per Hockeyed. Regular season playoffs season GP 64, 64, 68, 68, 70, 70, 70, 70. In the next phase, we'll be immersing ourselves in the realm of head coaches and exploring its real world applications. Terry Ruskowski, Mo Mantha, Junior Brian McCutcheon, Don Granotto. Get ready for an exciting part as we dive into general managers. David Pates and Don Granotto. Moving forward, we'll be taking a closer look at team record holders. Bo Billet games played 266, Keith Morris goals 104, Derek Clancy assists 218 points 313, Barry Drager PIM 663. As we progress, let's zoom in on captains and examine its role in shaping our overall narrative. Jason Smart captained first chill playoff team in 1994 Lance Brady captain 1994-1995. Brace yourself for an enlightening exploration of ECHL record holders as we dive into its profound implications. Trent K's NHL third most consecutive three or more goal games 1992 versus Toledo, Dayton and Knoxville Matt Oates tied for most power play goals in a game for goals in 1996 at Erie Jeff Selig who tied for most saves by a goaltender, period 30 in 1997 versus Roanoke. With our foundation established, it's time to explore NHL alumni and its relevance to our overarching theme. Blair Achinum, Cam Brown, Phil Crow, Trent Case, Sasha Lakovic, Eric Manlow, and Rasakut Pete Vandermeer. In the following segment, we'll be examining other notable players in greater detail. Jason the Smurf Christie, former chill forward who coached 19 seasons in the ECHL before joining the Buffalo Sabres as an assistant coach in 2021. Rob Schreiner, Barry Drager, Rob Soundster, Corey Bricknell. Thanks for being a part of this amazing journey. I can't wait to bring you more exciting content.